Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, get to honorableearners.com to grab that sea moss gold. 92 of that 102 mineral that your body is made of. Once it gets into your body, I promise you it's going right for those cells. It's a cell plant. So what it's going to do is going to erase, rip, strip, take anything that's toxin or don't belong there, out of there. I'm talking about like out of there. So make sure y'all get it. I mean, y'all don't have to get it, you know. It don't make me know never mind. I'm letting you know that right now. But if you say you got all these sicknesses, you say you want to be motivated, you need something to give you some energy, something to bring you the, back, the, the good health, you want to see more gold. I'm telling you now, listen to me. I am down in weight. I work out three times a day now. I do a lot more running and walking than anything. But we ain't going to talk about me. Let's give you guys the motivation to get out there on that track or get out there in that world into that gym and get that money, man, that honorable money. Push-ups, pull-ups, dips, whatever the case may be, get that money. I had an individual call me around an hour or two ago, right before I started my running. And that individual said to me, I see that you've done a video of Alpo. I said, yes, I did. I did do an honorable video where I'm explaining to the people not to be too much down on themselves about such a weak individual. And a lot of people say, King Erna, I don't feel as though he can be brought up like this. I want to let you guys know, he can be brought up a million and one times. You know why? The man don't have no honor. And believe it or not, a lot of these fake quote unquote gangsters followed the guy at a time. Everything they do, even down to this day, they're mimicking him. You guys don't want to see it. You guys don't want to admit it because a lot of y'all are acting just like him. So I say this to say, Y'all better be happy that I don't have anything else of this mutt that I can allow these children to see that they shouldn't be become. I mean, honestly, who's, who, name a person that you know that was part of the community giving out drugs, right? We understand we all have done it at a time. So drugs in the community but done the dishonor that Alpo done to our community. Name one or two people. You can't. The reason why you can't is because he didn't have no pics of who he destroyed. He wasn't an individual like me or you that to say, ah, I'm not going to do that to my friend or my brother or my homie or my close associate. Ah, I'm not. I'm only going to do something like that if it comes to me where the individual was trying to harm me. And that's what you're getting. You're getting dudes mimicking everything that he do. All the sliminess, all the, you know, um, the faking your homies out in order to, you know, take their whole head off. He is the one who invented a lot of these sneaky ways that everyone in the community have, but don't, none of y'all want to admit to it. You know why? Everybody want to play, like mentioning a rat. It's too much. Everybody want to play like mentioning the top rat is too much. Everybody want to play and say, oh, King Erna, oh, King Erna, he used to kill. He used to kill. Ask me, do I care? There are plenty of individuals that used to kill. <laughs> that mutt that killed Trayvon Martin, he used to kill. That cop that's going around and Took Sandra Bullock out her car. He killed. But yet, you individuals are missing the fact that this guy is America's nightmare. When it comes down to dishonor, disloyalty, you should have your child right now watching this all day and all night. You know why? Because when your child comes in, with that flashy coat on and you know he's in the streets 
and he's telling you of how he's getting it and he's doing this and he has the same motions that I have because that's the vibe that he's giving off. You let him know that that Alpo was a rat and all the cool daddy active stuff went out the window when he became a rat. But most of y'all, y'all have a thing for loving rats. It confuses me. It mind boggles me to the point you have individuals I know that have sat in my face and claimed honor and coolness and be like, hey, 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 but be at the computer like, oh, I hope he's not talking about this rat. Well, I'm talking about the rat and I'm talking about every rat lover that honors you. Bottom line, it doesn't make no sense for you guys not to understand that Dick, this guy is the number one example the number one example to have your child look and say, don't go in that direction. Everything he done was relevant. Even now up until this day, the things that he's doing, how he's calling in, he's popping up, he's putting a soft press on individuals he know that at one time or another were scared of him. Y'all missing it because you know what? A lot of y'all really wasn't too attached to the streets. A lot of y'all was more attached to the money. See, when you were attached to the streets and you understand the rules and laws of honor, not the 48 laws of power, throw that out. That's by who? A Robert Greene? Well, King Erna has a book called The Rules and Laws of Honor. And those rules and laws will give you understanding of what path and what direction to go with helping your child not follow those frauds, those individuals who made it seem like a 401k wasn't, <laughs> I mean, what? Like it was nothing. You guys are running around and acting like these children aren't supposed to go in the right direction. Y'all made it seem like everything was hunky-dory, but y'all not putting this rat outpo in the front and singing, this is the one to not follow. Somebody said in the comments, that guy isn't relevant, right? Well, you answer me this and riddle me this, you mutt. If he isn't relevant, then why every time he pop up or his name is mentioned, y'all get in a frenzy? It's fear that y'all don't want to admit to, that y'all got to say, listen, even if you're not a part of it, you don't got to be scared of anybody, people. Come on, y'all talking about, oh, he used to be a killer. Oh, he used to be this. Oh, he used to be that. That guy's a kitten. That guy's soft. Come on, man. Stop pretending and psyching yourself out because that's all you're doing. You're psyching yourself out, and guess what? Y'all missing the big picture. Everyone is so hidey pidey. I would like to see that mud on a block in a can and see how he carried it because I would have sent him out. You know why I would have sent him out? Because he's too all over himself thinking what he done was okay and that everybody is going to accept him. And I'm advising every young man today, I'm advising every young woman today, don't give those rats the opportunity to lock you up. Take your time. Choose your education. Get a degree, get something that's worthwhile, but do not follow these paths of these frauds because guess what? That man wants the attention. He's an attention freak. See, Rich had the attention naturally, right? But this guy here, this mud here, oh, he creates the attention. The robes, the guns, all of that. All that done was create sort of like a genocide of our people. Honestly, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Even when I done negative things, when I carried it as if it was cool, even when I used to be on a gram just talking and glorifying it, it's not cool. You know why? Because then you peep and you realize like, yo, I see all these successful people being something in life. I can be something in life. You start looking at your children like, you know what? You see how Dame Dash is teaching his children how to have a business? 
Child, you have to have a business. I got my father, after he retired out of work, getting into a business. Because no one ever told him. But yet, y'all pay every chance and every attention to what that rat does. So when King Gurner mentions him, everyone jumps all over it. And guess what? They give out the honors. So I have to actually mention the prick, right? In order for everybody to actually tune all the way in. Because a lot won't unless they think it's all the way negative. When they think it's all the way negative, they're there. But without them paying attention, within a blink of an eye, they're getting the message. But y'all don't dig it. Y'all don't dig it. See, I'm able to take off from YouTube and relax like I've done for a week or two. Come back and have to rebuild up a little bit. You know why I'm able to do that? Because it's not about the coin. It's authentic. It's authentic. It's about the individuals receiving the message and digging. Hold up. We had a lot of different individuals that came after Alpo and was a rat also. Hold up. Let's pay attention and use our brains. Almost every individual that goes through the system nowadays, they pick that bad habit up from that rat. How aren't you individuals that's a part of the streets or part of the jails don't understand that? Signed and sealed, he is the king of the rats, and every rat tries to follow his blueprint. Down to 6ix9ine. So when you think about Alpo and you think about 6ix9ine, try to make sure you put them in the same category because you know why? They both have no honor. And when individuals, they crack me up, they say, oh, King Erner, you can't be out, po. you this, man. I'm not thinking about beating that boy up. That boy tell on me for putting these jaws on him. You see him? He tell on me. And y'all got to understand that. And that's why I don't propagate the nonsense because I think that we can give a little bit more out better than violence. We can give education, and we can give understanding of the awareness of what King Erna truly means when he mentions Alpo the Rat, or AZ the Rat, and Rich Porter the Honorable Man. You got to understand what I mean, and what I mean is, youngin, don't follow all three. But if you're going to do anything, make sure that you single out Rich Porter's life, because you know why? In his negativity, he became a man who was loyal to his people around him. No matter what they say, there is no proof of him being disloyal. But there is proof of AZ being disloyal to what everybody called the game. G-A-M-E. You remember? The game is over, right? Well, he was disloyal to the game when he told what he told and he told about those individuals coming in the home, offering him, trying to offer him, and the other people that was there, including a young lady that he was sneaking around with at that time. But guess what? His example is not an example of a man. His example is an example of a bird who sees the food and comes get it before everybody else is around so he can be able to say, I got it all. And hey, I done this for you. I done that for you. I done this for you. I done that for you. The streets owe you nothing, AZ, Thagion. Nothing. Nothing. Everything about you much are dishonorable. Far as I'm concerned, you know, dudes be like, are they from Harlem and this and the third? When I think of Harlem, I don't think of them guys. I think of Fayback, Gangster Lou, individuals like Good men who made honorable decisions. Not these nobodies who ran around like they was getting to it when it's a million other stories around the world where dudes was getting to it much better. The whole example of Fritz accepting Alpo is an example for the youngest to understand that 
Once you're out of the way, only thing that counts is money. So him and Fritz could continue to earn. And that's what happened with your life, youngin. Let you get killed out here in these streets. Your homies will wind up buying off of the individual that killed you. They'll wind up copping off of the individual that laid you out. Your homies, because they'll make up an excuse to deal with these rats. They'll make up the excuse. They'll say, huh, I got to put food on my table. I'm going to leave y'all with that. And I'm going to say, for a lot of y'all, make sure that y'all get to see more school. This ain't something I'm just talking or trying to get a pitch sale and all that. It changed my life. It changed my life. And you hear how I'm hoarse? That's what happens when a, um, some type of cold or flu try to attack you. Your voice will alter a little bit. But once you take tea and it's seem off for a couple of days, it'll come back. It'll come right back. That's the worst you'll get. You won't get sick, sneezing and cheesing and chilling and all that. Because the CMOS go helps that immune system say, bow, 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 bow. And guess what? We're of honor. We're good. I'm going to put my hood on, hit this yard, and do a couple more push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. And I want every youngin to understand that you can go and purchase this hoodie. Undeniable, U-N-D-B, underscore. I think it's either U-N-D-B or U N. DBL underscore. You can go follow Naim on Instagram also. They got these joints and I, I'm honoring them. I love them. They honorable for the workouts. I've done about, I ain't gonna lie now, I've done about a hundred burpees of this joint and it ain't, you know, sweat up in the wrong spots and I was able to keep my strut right. Y'all tune in and guess what, man? Make sure that y'all eat healthy before and after a workout. Never, ever, ever just work out. Stretch and eat right. King Gurn alive and direct. And guess what? Any given time, if y'all want to, if y'all like, always put this in a blender. Soak it first. When it turns to the big veins, put it in the blender. And you don't even got to worry about turning it into paste. You know what you can do? Once it's soaked and it's in that blender, you can throw the vegetables right in there with it. Bang, right on top of it. <laughs> Pull it right out, drink it. You don't got to worry about nobody cooking new food for you. Wayne, wife, you at work or whatever, you come home, drink your shake, and keep it pushing. And I guarantee you'll be 20 times stronger. And when she comes home, after your bath, you make sure the bed and the whole room is good, the bathtub and everything. Put a nice little bit of honorable water in there, you see? And when she come in, you make sure you take off her shoes, her socks, let her go inside that bath, massage her body, Whisper that honor in her ear and tell her, baby, I'm on CMOS gold. No money, love. And hand her some of your shake and let her drink some of that CMOS gold. And y'all viciously, savagely, honorably go ahead and add an addition to the family. King Earn Alive and Direct.